In half a mile, take exit 12 for Old Stratford Road. Yeah, so that happened last week. Hi, Robert Parks here. Before we get started, let's take a look at that one more time in slow motion. But what kind of damage did it do? I'm gonna zoom in here. By the way, I've got to apologize for the sound on this video. There's a water treatment facility right behind this parking garage and there's not much I can do about that. Okay, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but the plate and the plate holder are now bowed out here in the center. And over here where the brick struck, they're dented in at least a quarter of an inch. Uh, the plate holder did come back and make contact with the car. Uh, however, the uh, paint uh, scratches are very minor and all in all, it could have been a lot worse. But I'll have to wait till spring to deal with that. Here's what our weather looked like just a few days after this happened. Okay, so today I'm going to take the license plate off, bend it as straight as I can, and replace the ZL1 add-ons bracket with a new one. We'll speed things up along the way so that you don't have to endure too much of it. And if there was any doubt before, I am an IT guy and not a mechanic. Success, partially, but I am, I learned two things. One, I'm not taking this bracket off here. It's still in good enough shape. We'll tighten it back down and leave it as is. And two, I'm really concerned about what happens if I have a flat tire out on the road. Because I had this tool uh, roll uh, specifically for the purpose of taking this bracket off and getting to the tow point if I ever have a flat tire and the car needs to be pulled onto a, a flatbed, uh, etc. Um, the fact that it's so difficult to get off of there means that I need to do that on a day when I've got some help and I'm never putting one back on there again. It's, uh, it's uh, a lot of it's covered in rust already and uh, it's only been on there since last summer. So that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate to learn, but let's get the license plate straightened out, get it back on the car and we'll go from there. Okay, so this video didn't totally go the way I anticipated. I didn't swap out the ZL1 add-ons uh, license plate bracket because I discovered that getting it off of the car again wasn't easy after uh, being on there for more than six months. Uh, that's something I'll deal with later. I did uh, get the uh, plate straightened back out and thankfully the placement there just happened to work out uh, so that that uh, brick uh, didn't do any more damage than it might have otherwise. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.